What's good YouTube? It's your boy Dream Chaser Kicks and I'm back with another video. Now this one's a little bit different. It's not a cash out. I'm gonna be taking y'all to one of my meetups. Now most of my meetups are either I'm buying pairs off people or I'm selling pairs. This one's a little different. Today we are trading something big and expensive for around like 18 pairs. Some of y'all might know what that box is and a lot of you probably don't know what that box is. But once I get to this meetup, I'll show y'all. Uh, appreciate y'all again for tuning in, supporting. You feel me? Dream Chaser Kicks, subscribe. And yeah, let's go to this meetup. Let's get this trade done. Let's get it. Boy, Subtle Kicks, 209. Yeah, really? What's going on, bro? What's going on? I'm recording, bro. Right, you good? good. Yeah, I, cool. I won't even put you. I think it was what, like 18 pairs? And then yeah, you could check those after. Pairs. Yeah, you can start looking. It's good, it's good. Let me go through these real quick. Yeah, it's good. Check them out, bro. They really do. Sorry. You can take the boxes if you want. Uh, you sure? Yeah. Well, you had a stack kind of good. Let me get these back. How you had them? How you had them? That's the total I got. 18 pairs, man. For the Travis Frags. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and then these ducks. Eighteen. All good. Let me. I'm gonna get these to the car real quick. Yeah, good. I'm, I'm yep, it's good. Pop. Appreciate you. Yeah. I'm out to start messing with the vintage, man. Yeah, you should, bro. That shit's a good response. Yeah. Profit, you you spend in like dollars. Exactly. Like, compared to shoes, you spend yeah. like hundreds. Yeah, exactly. I feel like it. Tags too. Tags. It's tags. Be even like learn tags. I say that. Yeah. Like that's how you could how you could base like what year it's uh, from too. Based off the tag? Yeah. All good, brother. Appreciate you. I appreciate you, man. I'm going to tag you and stuff yeah. and do everything. Uh, keep doing your thing, man. Yeah, you too, bro. All good, bro. Appreciate you. Appreciate well, it's you. What's good? My bad. Uh, I know it was a little dark and super brief at his spot, but we had already arranged the meetup, so I already knew what pairs I was getting, how many. Um, I don't like to be in people's space too much, so I just kind of wanted to get out of there. But let me go ahead and give you a quick summary of the major trade that just went down. Now, I don't know if you've seen the, um, I showed you all the box, but the pair, I'll post it right here. It was the Travis Scott High, uh, Travis Scott Jordan 1 High Fragment. Now, that's one of the more limited releases of all his Jordans. There was a pretty penny. I was into those shoes about 2,500, I want to say. And I'm not going to lie to you. I had those for a couple months and they wasn't selling. It's a tough mover to move a shoe like that unless you got the right clientele. You got a lot of followers, you know, you got a store or something. So what's better for my business is was to hurry up and get off those because that's $2,500 I had sitting that I'm not reinvesting back into my business. So I went ahead and grabbed, um, I think it was 18 pairs from him that we ended up trading and some bricks, some cool ones. But these are all pairs I know I can move. I know I can get the money back and even a little bit more than I was into them. So I could go ahead and keep reinvesting. So those Travis Scott high fragments were 10 and a half. But let's go over some of the pairs we got. So I got three pairs of these. I've been had these. These are the Dunk Low Halloweens. Grade school. Clean pair. Orange. Like kind of almost like an off-white and black. So I got those in a five, five and a half, and six and a half. So... That's three right there. And then what else did we get? Like again, those are super nice dunk, cheap, affordable for my clientele. So those should definitely move. Um, I grabbed a cherry. These just always move good lo locally for me. So I got these in a six and a half. And I also got one men's pair. Where's it at? Uh, right here. A 10 and a half. For me i'll take this 10 and a half because i don't have a 10 and a half in stock right now and the bigger sizes do do a little bit better in these cherries and mo a lot of shoes the bigger sizes do do better so that's good to have you feel me we got to take some bricks too when you're going like that you got to get some bricks but again these are cheap these are going to be one of the slower movers out of all these pairs but hopefully they move so i got an eight and a half nine nine and a half and then a ten so that's more of the pairs I got. Again, out of all the pairs, that's probably the toughest mover. Um, even tougher than them dunks I'm gonna show you right now. 
But yeah, so I had four of those. I got this Dunk High. It's a, called a medium blue and white. Size five and a half, brand new. Everything's brand new in here. I don't know, these will go for cheap. He threw those in for free. So that's always good, that's a plus. Um, I think we got three pairs, I wanna say, or four pairs of powder blues. Save some of the better pairs for last. We got four pairs of powder blues. I don't know if you heard me and him talking, but these are some sleepers right here. Super clean pair. You feel me? So we got four and a half, five, six, and six and a half. These do come with some extra laces. I believe they are powder blue. So anytime you get extra laces, just always a plus. You want to mix it up. So we got four pairs of those. Uh, one of the hottest shoes right now. Not necessarily this color. It is a good color, but just the Jordan 4 period. So we got a Midnight Navy in a size 6Y. So that pair will definitely move quick. And then for one more dunk. And then the two of the best ones that I like. Size 10, Marina Blue. Not one of the best dunk colorways, but it is nice. Honestly, don't see a lot of people with these on feet, so they're not like super flooded, but hey. Nice color, blue, be a little bit different. Everyone has pandas, so that's a size 10. We got them, and then two of the better ones that I like. We got a size six and a half, and the turtle doves. So for those of you who don't know, this is the first uh, Adidas Yeezy 350 to ever release the, out of the uh, version one. So super clean, size six and a half. I mean, just a clean colorway overall and a classic. So that one should move and it's a good size, base size, size six and a half. And then last but not least, these are becoming harder and harder to find these in the Yeezy slides. We got a size nine Onyx Foam Runner, the best color in my opinion, the most wearable. You do got the colorful ones that do go for a pretty penny, but all black, you can't go wrong, size nine. So that's what we got we traded like i said the travis scott fragment high size 10 and a half for all these pairs so now we got to head back to the house unload all these i'll see you on the car real quick just to end off the video and let's get it so now that you guys got the full details of the trade please let me know in the comments below if you think that i won or i lost this trade if you think i lost go ahead and tell me it's all good but like i said me personally for my business, I know I won this trade. I had those Travis Scotts for a minute now, and several months, and I it was gonna take me another several months, I'm pretty sure, to move them. Like I said, I was 2,500 into those shoes. Now, it was coming to a point where I was even down to take a loss, a couple, two, three hundred dollar loss, just to get um, them moved, and so I can reinvest that money back into the business. Because that dead money sitting is not making me no money. If I, say if I even get 22, 2,300 for it, the time it takes me to move that shoe for 25 or maybe even a little bit more, I could have already recycled that 2200 you know, into 3000 a little bit over 3000 by the time it takes me to move that one pair. And it's also, like I said, I'm going to be constantly moving those pairs and constantly moving the pairs that I get from that, you know, as more customers, more sales, I get more reviews and overall just continuing the business. Now, like I said, it is 18 pairs. So it is gonna take me a while to move. It's gonna be a lot more footwork than if I was to just sell to one person, the Travis Scott High. But like I said, I know these pairs will move. They're pairs that I can move. And like I said, get the money back and reinvest it into the business, you know, and just keep it pushing. So that's what we're trying to do. We don't want no dead money sitting around. Like I said, it is nice to have that shoe, have it at the events, have it. It looks good, but no one wants to buy it because it's expensive. So to me, in my eyes, I won this trade for that simple reason. I'd rather have the Travis Scott High Fragment instead of all those. They're a super nice shoe, but business-wise, we got to keep business rolling. That's what we're trying to do here. You feel me? We always try to get better and better. So. so with that being said, that'll be it for this video. Once again, I appreciate every single one of you guys for tuning in and supporting your boy. Just coming along with me on my sneaker journey, you feel me, as we try to climb to the top. So please like, comment below. And subscribe to the channel here at Dream Chaser Kicks for more sneaker content. My last video is actually doing a little bit better than I thought. It's not going crazy or nothing viral or none of that. But for me, just to see the views and the, the subscriber count going up, the likes, 
it gives me more motivation to release some you feel me the dope sneaker content that you guys want so please subscribe to the channel here at dream chaser kicks follow your boy on instagram at dream chaser kicks that's where i sell all my shoes where you can cop some of the shoes that i got in this trade or like i said i have a tons of a uh, ton of other inventory that you guys can cop from as well so follow me there at dream chaser kicks we all dream chasers here but if you're going to chase your dreams, you might as well do it in the flyest sneakers. So tap in here to get your fly sneakers and y'all have a blessed day. Peace.